Today I'm going to be evaluating a pretty cool integral, and this comes from the TMUA. This is in fact from the 2023 paper. The ceiling of x written as this is defined to be the value of x rounded up to the nearest integer. So for example, the ceiling of pi is 4, because pi is 3.14. If you round it up to the nearest integer, that's 4. The, floor, uh, the ceiling of 2.1 is 3, and the ceiling of 8 is 8. What is the value of the following integral from 0 to 99 of 2 to the ceiling of x dx? The trick to evaluating this integral, and I've evaluated integrals similar, uh, similar to this on the channel before, is to basically sketch a graph of this function. And in particular, when sketching this, is just be mindful of the jumps here. So let's sketch this graph between 0 and 99. So let's ask ourselves what happens when x is a small number. So if x is 0, if x is 0 0.1, if x is 0 0.2. And the reason we want to kind of split this up here based off of um, x being an integer is because the ceiling of a function kind of goes up by 1 every integer. So here I need to be careful of what happens when x is an integer. So when x is between 0 and 1, the ceiling of x is just 1. So I'm going to start my graph between x is 0 and x is 1, it's going to be 2 to the 1. So it's just going to be a horizontal line there at 2. OK, what about between 1 and 2? Well, the ceiling of x will be 2. And 2 to the 2 is 4, or 2 squared. So it's going to look something like that, and that will be 2 squared. What about between 2 and 3? The ceiling of x will be 2 cubed. Uh, sorry, the ceiling of x will be 3, so this will be 2 cubed which would obviously be somewhere up here, and so on. And this is going to continue until we get up to, I guess, 98 to 99, and then it will be a horizontal line here with uh, the height of this line being 2 to the 99. OK, we want to evaluate this integral. And remember, that just corresponds to area underneath the graph. What's the area of this first rectangle? Well, the base is 1, and the height is 2. So the area there is 2. What about this second rectangle? Well, base again is 1. Height now is 2 squared. So 2 plus 2 squared. Next one will be 2 cubed. And so on, all the way up to 2 to the 99. So we're just evaluating this. And this is just a geometric sum. Um, we can use our geometric sum formula to evaluate this. So how many terms are there? Well, there's 99. The first term is 2, and the common ratio is 2. So this is going to be 2 times uh, 2 to the 99 minus 1 all over 2 minus 1. And if we simplify that, that's 2 to the 100 minus 2. And that would be our answer.